Hi, this is Tim Grotman, and I wanted to show you how I set up this scene. So you can see I've got Rain AI characters here, and they're chasing after a player character. I'll switch to the scene view. I can move the player character around. You can see that these are mixed mode game characters. They're using the Gary Zombie Pack to do all their animations for attacking, biting, screaming, walking, and crawling. It's using Rain AI. They have visual sensors where they're tracking the player visually. So if I go out of range or move around, they'll come and run after the player. Here you can see this is Rain AI, and it's got an advanced behavior tree, preventing the player characters from running into each other when they chase me. They all circle around the player. There's also a navigation mesh here. So if the player goes out of sight around the corner, after an interval, they'll resume back to their waypoint navigation. So I'm hiding behind this obstacle. You can see that they've gone to do their zombie thing. If I move back, as soon as I get within visual range, they'll turn around and start chasing me. These zombies over here don't even know that I'm back. And now they know. They're all chasing me. All right. So how did I set up the scene? All right, let's start fresh. First thing, I'll grab the character from the scary animation pack that I downloaded from the Mixmo website and drop that into my scene. Okay, and then I'll use the scary zombie pack AI to automatically configure everything. So there we go. Set up an enemy with a scary zombie pack. I'm gonna automatically create the animator controller. Okay, great. Looks good. Automatically has a mind with an advanced behavior tree. It has sensors set up. Everything looks good. And I'll place the character somewhere where I can see him. Okay, and save the scene. I hit play. The character is automatically walking nav navigation mesh. So now we need a player. So I'll go and create a game object, 3D object. I'll just use a capsule as the player. Again, place it where we can see him. Yeah, assign a material so we can see him. Here we go. All right, and we'll call this guy a player. Okay, again, we'll use the scary zombie pack AI to automatically set up the player. Okay, this automatically created an entity and set up the visual aspect so that the zombie can see him. And if I save the scene and hit play, Zombie will chase after the player. Great. You can see when the zombie gets close. He's attacking the player. Punching the player, screaming at it. Great. Okay. And if we move the player around, the zombie will chase it. The zombie's actually even damaging the player. So each time it hits the player, it's doing some damage. Okay. So that looks good. And we'll also duplicate some more zombies to see how they do in a crowd. All right, so we'll just control D to duplicate some zombies. Control D and control D duplicate. Great, and we'll save the scene. Select the player and hit play. And they're all chasing after the player. Move the player around, I'm getting away. I get out of visual range around the corner, let the timer expire. They'll go back to their waypoint navigation. All right, great. You can see we have advanced AI behavior trees. We have zombies that are chasing the player with a visual aspect. The in-game characters are mixed mode characters. The scripts automatically created mechanism states that are integrated with the rain states, or at least the characters aren't walking through each other or walking through walls. They're following the waypoints, they're attacking the player, they're doing their thing. Alright, well thanks for watching this video about the scary zombie pack AI.